Cool. So this should be what you awake from a strange dream. You quickly write down before the memory fades. I had the strangest dream last night. In the dream, I took three of those strange crystals I've been finding on the ground. Wait, I've been finding and ground them with a handful of redstone in a bowl using a piece of flint. The crystals had to be of different types, but if I did it properly, then the result was a strange glowing dust. In the dream, I took the dust and sprinkled it on a bookcase, but the dream ended before I saw what happened. I wonder, should I do what the dream showed? I have the impression the dust was going to reveal something wondrous but dangerous. Wow. We are going to keep this because that is information. That's information right there. Cool. So I didn't know that uh, dreaming could actually give you crazy properties, you know, crazy ideas like that. Are they done? I think they're done. Holy shit, they're done. Holy shit, they're done. Finally. Fucking finally. Now we never have to do that again, guys. Very loud out there, but we never have to do that again. So I'm very happy. Uh, let's make this ME controller now. Uh, please. Okay, there we go. I thought it was crashing. So we need engineering processor. We need Skystone and those. We have everything we need. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Woo! We did it! Fucking did it, finally. Look at that. Awesome. So, we need to connect it to our power up here, so we're just gonna kinda rip up the floor. Even though, yes, I know we did just put down the floor, but we need to do this, okay? This needs to be done. It actually looks like, um... Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll extend the, the wall a little bit, I guess. There we go. So here it is. We need to get some wires, probably an electrical engine. So we should have everything we need. We're just going to bring it over here and let's see first if we even actually, yeah, no, what am I fucking talking about? We'll probably need a, an engine here or wait, no, maybe not even seems to be actually working just fine. How is this even working? Where the fuck is the redstone? Like, oh, it requires red. So how is this on is my fucking question. Does this just accept energy generally from everywhere? Oh, wait, we probably don't even need this. Or wait, yeah, we don't even fucking need the... Okay, well, I feel fucking stupid now. Anyway, so we have this done. What we're gonna do is move these chests just over here. I don't want to break them just yet, because then the items will be fucking everywhere. But we're gonna rip up the floor here, and we're gonna put our access terminal right there. And so with this, we can actually get these glass Fluix cables and just do something like this. And now we have access to this entire- oh wait, we need storage. So we need to make, um, one of, uh, we need to make one of these. So do this 1k ME storage cell, which requires not a lot. This will be fine. It looks like a lot more than it is. Oh yeah, let's fucking check if those uh, other seeds are done yet. And also kill this before it kills us. That could have been bad. Those look like they're seeds still. Yeah, okay, they are. But they're really, really close to being done. Oh, we need to recharge our generator. It's a good thing all it needs is a stack of coal and it's good to go. Um, alright, yeah, we, we need to craft our storage device. This will be a lot easier if we just make this housing first. So, quartz, redstone, and ingots. Okay, quartz, redstone, iron ingots. Okay, let's make the storage housing. There we go. Very nice. And now, I think all we need is the logical process, or we need something else, but I don't know what it is. Okay, this 1k ME storage component. So, Certus and redstone, which we have both. Voila. Throw that in there so we don't have to make it ever again. And now, we should be able to make make our 1k ME storage cell. So what can we do with this? Basically, we put it into our drive and now we have storage. Each of these will contain items so we can put in anything that doesn't have a value. So these spawner shards, we can put in this cooked parrot, we can put in, you know, our copper cable since we can't store that in EMC, we can put in our dirt even though I think we're going to actually whatever, fuck it. And as you can see the stack sizes can actually go above 64. So that's why I really like these. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the ME system that we just spent like a fucking long ass time on. It's all done now. Well, actually, no, it's not all done. It's almost done. I promise you guys, we'll have it done by the end of the fucking video. But look how much better our inventory looks now. Look at that. Look at that. Awesome. Now we can also uh, start destroying these chests and just put all of this shit into here. 
So, I mean, yeah, rare earths go in there. Broken spawners, boom. All of this bullshit go in there. And then eventually we'll be able to craft here as well, which is going to be even better once we get these seeds done, which they are done. Let's go. Now we no longer fucking need this bullshit. All right. Pure certus quartz. Okay. And then how do we make this crafting terminal? I think we have everything else we need. Uh, oh yeah, we need this. Okay. So we need to get the calculation press. We need to inscribe it. And then what else do we need to do? Put that in there. Okay. And then we should have everything we need. Um, we just need the terminal, which is right here. And then we can actually break our crafting table. And put that in there first. Booyah! Baby! Oh, we don't have a fucking crafting table, but I think we can actually just make it in our inventory. Yes, we can. Boom! Now we have crafting. Who could have fucking thunk it? And the coolest part about this is... I think at least we can use stuff like we can just, you know, boop and then boom. Uh, right? Can we do that? I don't know. I, I'm honestly not sure here. I'm a bit confused, but now we can at least craft stuff and uh, we can access all of our items. Obviously, there will be a limit um, to how much is being stored in the drive. So this is... Um, 229 of 1,024 bytes used on that one. So when we run out of this, it'll go to this, this, and then we'll need to add more. So that's how that works. It's really cool. Really awesome. Uh, anyway, so let's start converting all of the chests. I always forget that this is an axe. Every fucking time. Yeah, let's start converting all of the chests into here or on EMC. Also, there is another type of transmutation thing that we can make and it's called a transmutation tablet right here so this actually requires dark matter blocks to make and this will allow us to just use it in our inventory like we can just right click it here boom and then we can use it so it's pretty fucking sick in that way but this dark matter as you can see is uh, a value of 139,000. it looks a lot more complicated than it actually is to make it's very easy it's just a lot of coal that we're gonna need so we're gonna start working on making some dark matter it all as i said starts from coal so uh we need to put this in here and then we need to make as much as we can, pretty much. There we go. So we have 16. I don't want that in there. And now I want to also make a regular crafting table. This is kind of a pain in the ass, actually, uh, to go over there. So crafting table. Actually, wait. I don't even need a crafting table because this acts as a crafting table. But I need to change the key bind. So extra function. We'll make that... Shift and down. There we go. Now we can craft. Okay. Now we need to do the same type of thing. Put that there and do this. And then now we have Mobius fuel. We can't actually shift click these for some reason, which is a pain in the ass, but oh well. Uh, so Mobius fuel now is the next one. And yeah, we kind of just continue this until we have Eternalist, which is this one. Now we get some diamonds and our Eternalist. We make a diamond block. So this is why it's so expensive is because it uses diamonds. Put a diamond block in the middle, surround it with this eternalist fuel, and now we got dark matter. So that is how you make dark matter. Uh, and then four of these is a dark matter block. So as you can see, this is very fucking expensive. And if we go to our transmutation tablet, we need four of these. So we're going to be probably waiting quite a while before we have enough. We can actually only make two dark matter blocks as it stands. So yeah, there's that. I think something that might be worth investing in is some solar panels on our roof, uh, which will be able to generate just kind of passive power. But before we do that, we need a source of storage. So there's a bat box, which is the most primitive type of storage in this uh, mod pack. So we need RE batteries, wood, and then insulated tin cable. We can definitely do. Now we go to our bat box and we need insulated tin cable. We need some rubber and we need the cutters. Okay, there we go. And so now what does this do? This is kind of like a battery. So if we were to hook it up to this generator, uh, we could actually use the power. So as you can see, it's being stored now. And then this can be brought other places. Uh, so the reason why we need this is because solar panels do not hold power. They just transport power somewhere. So if we have a bunch of solar panels on the roof, it'll go to the bat box, 
But then when it's nighttime, and if we didn't have a bat box, there would be no way for us to store the power. We just wouldn't have power. So that's why we're doing this. So we can start doing, uh, I don't know. You get what I'm saying. We also need to make a wrench. Um, so a wrench is kind of a pain in the ass to make because it requires bronze, which I fucking hate making, I think. I, I don't remember liking make to make this. You need, yeah, so bronze dust, which is other dust. So copper and crushed tin dust. So tin, and then we have copper. We need both of these in dust form. So we go to here, the pulverizer. Pulverize that shit. Okay, so we can EMC this, and I think we only needed actually one tin, and then we mostly needed, uh, copper. So as you can see, the generator is no longer storing any power. It is completely in the hands of the bat box, and as you can see, it can store up to 40,000 EU, which is the power, uh, unit in the game. Uh, so we get copper dust, and we need three of that, and then we just kind of do this, and now I think we smelt this. We'll also be able to make a much better furnace, something called an electrical furnace, which will make things so much quicker and so much better. So there we go, bronze ingot. Now we have what we need to make a wrench. And why do we need a wrench? Well, if we don't have a wrench, we actually can't really break. So yeah, the wrench can be used to pick up generators, if we or like most machinery blocks. If we don't pick it up, like if we just mine it with a pickaxe, Number one, it'll take fucking forever, and number two, um, what was number two? Fuck, I forget. Uh, number two, we would actually not get the generator from the item. Uh, so why did we do that? I, I don't actually know because we don't have solar panels set up, so we need to get a solar panel. Uh, this one here. Oh, we actually need a generator. Look at that, smart. I did it, um... Totally because I knew that Anyway, so we're gonna get some coal dust. So we'll just pulverize one because we kind of need to save on power right now It's all gonna come out of the bat box. So oh also the other reason is because We'll be able to rotate which way a machine works like that So now power will or it should at least come out of here doesn't actually seem to be coming out uh for some reason. Okay, whatever. We have pulverized coal. Uh, so we need glass and then these things, which are not very hard to make. Okay, yeah, we can do that. What happened to our copper cable? Oh, this is down because we don't have power. Um, let's just put this here for a second, just so we can actually have a power source. Here's our copper cables. Okay, and then we need... Um, so, we're making these electronic circuits. We need iron plates. And then redstone. Okay. And... Boom. We need two of these. We need our generator now. Oops. And we need three pulverized coal and some glass. Okay, so... Now we have one solar panel. Which doesn't actually generate a whole lot of power on its own. Solar panels are kind of garbage. Uh, but if we have a lot of them, that's what makes it good. And also later on we can make something that's called a solar array. And that'll make them even better. Right now we're just going to um, tunnel this basically into here. So we should actually have power. As you can see, it is very, very slow to fill up the power. So I don't even think everything is being powered right now. Um, and so we're gonna make a solar, uh, solar array. So here's a low voltage solar array. Because we're using a bat box, this is the best thing we can do. So, oh fuck me, we need to make this, okay. Uh, copper cables and iron ingots, all right. So, we need copper plates. Uninsulated copper cables, and we need what else was that? So that's to make the coil. So we need an iron ingot as well. Boom. Very, very nice. Um, so with this, we can make this a low voltage transformer. This converts higher voltage um, power into low voltage. Um, 
And now we have a low voltage solar array. These are much better than actual solar panels, you'll come to realize. Oh my god, we just made a lot. Uh, let's just, yeah, there we go. We don't need this many. So yeah, reason why we're doing this is so that uh, we can get more power. We don't actually need these up here. These are going to not produce very much power for us. Did I not EMC the fucking wrench? I don't think I did. Yeah, okay. Good thing we don't need to make bronze all over again. Uh, there we go. Let's EMC the wrench this time. We'll just have a couple of them. Alright, now we put these down. These are much better. So as you can see, they say 8 EU per tick. And uh, that will make it uh, way better. Way fucking better. You don't even understand how much better it'll make it. Uh, one thing is actually that I just realized we're probably going to need to bring this up. Or we just... Uh... We could just link them all like this, I guess. So we won't really have a very nice looking roof. For now. We'll, we'll fix it eventually, guys, okay? We'll fix it eventually. Probably. I don't know. Maybe not. Because we need to link them all together so that they actually, like, you know, provide power. Because right now, the way it's set up, it's only going to use power from one of them. This one here. So, the way we fix that is just by putting wires on all of them. Just like that. So now, if we go to our bat box, it's filling up way fucking faster. The only thing about this bat box is I don't get why it's not distributing the power. Uh, that's kind of irritating. But, I'm going to reorganize things a bit. I'm going to move this bat box right here in the corner of the house and I'm going to move this I don't I don't want this here so we can move everything to the basement uh, that's the plan at least oh that wasn't on that's why it wasn't being powered okay makes sense uh, so this should be working yep it is and uh, 